Hey, my name is Jerry, and I couldn't help myself. Where to begin? Yeah, it's true. I bought the Space Gray Magic Mouse 2 and the Space Gray trackpad just for use with my iPad. After I suggested that you should not go buy a Magic Mouse just for use with your iPad. But I'm not necessarily a rational person and I wanted these just because they simply looked better with my iPad than the white Magic Mouse that I had. The black Magic Mouse provides absolutely nothing more than the white one that I have already. It scrolls up and down, the whole top is touch sensitive. You got the same ridiculous charging port on the bottom, the on off switch, the built in battery, and it gets super fingerprinty. And I've been trying to think of logical reasons that I could say on this video for why I bought it, but I simply have none. The trackpad on the other hand actually has a lot of great benefits for me. The trackpad built into the iPad Magic Keyboard is pretty small and cramped. It's ridiculous and it's difficult to maneuver and do gestures on with three fingers or whatever. But with this guy, it's oversized and it's huge. It's actually comically large, but it allows plenty of room for full hand gestures, three fingers, two fingers, whatever, for switching apps and moving around and editing video in LumaFusion. I can actually scrub through the timeline incredibly quickly with this and accurately to find the places I need to cut and to remove clips and add clips and things like that. So it's really nice for things like that and for using gestures. The other thing about this Magic Trackpad is that it uses force touch. So just like on the MacBooks and MacBook Pros, there is no physical click on these things. You can push it when the power's off and nothing happens. When the power's on and when it's connected to the device, it does the same thing that the MacBook Pros do where it tricks your brain into thinking that you're actually clicking a button. It uses haptic feedback and pressure sensitivity. So when you, when you press, it senses the pressure, it makes a clicking sound and it vibrates, making you think that you clicked a button when you actually didn't. So I actually like this more than I thought I would and it's actually so much easier to click than it is on the iPad Magic Keyboard. The iPad Magic Keyboard uses a physical button, which works a little bit differently from most other trackpads on laptops. And most other trackpads, it's kind of a wedge shape. So the top of the keyboard is up here and then the bottom of the trackpad is down here. And when you press it, it kind of rocks like that. Well, this doesn't do that. This has a new physical mechanism that you can press anywhere on the trackpad, just like you can on the Magic Trackpad. However, it is a physical click and it uses some kind of assembly that does a weird motion, I don't know. I fix it, did a tear down of it, it's pretty cool. But this is actually much quieter to click on and much easier to click on. It doesn't require nearly as much force as the trackpad does on the iPad Magic Keyboard. So overall, I really like these devices. I really like the color. I really like the size of this Magic Trackpad. However, it is irrational to go out and buy these devices just for use with an iPad, especially when you already have a mouse or a trackpad available. But, you know, this is not a channel just for rational people, so. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button below. If you're interested in seeing what I do next, you can follow me on Twitter, at Jerry Schultz, and hit subscribe. If you have questions or comments, if you think I'm crazy, or maybe you did the same thing, let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you next time.